Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Radoslav Wojtacek and Fabiano Caruana. This is a game from the Tata Steel tournament played in 2021. Wojtacek had white pieces and he started with c4, knight to f6, knight to f3, d6, d4, g6, knight to c3, bishop to g7, e4, castling. So we have the king's Indian defense, bishop to e2, e5, Wojtacek castled king side 2. This is the most played move. d5 is the second most played move, the Petrosian variation. Back to our game, we have castling, black to move. Knight to c6 is the most played move. Caruana played bishop to g4. This move was not considered strong in the past. Will this game change all that? Let's see. Bishop to e3 and now bishop takes on f3, giving up the bishop pair. This is a move which old masters wouldn't rush to do. But this is the best move in the position. Bishop takes on f3. E takes on d4, bishop takes on d4, knight to c6, attacking the dark squared bishop. This position was seen for the first time in 1992, and black won bishop to e3, black to move. In the original game in 1992, play with the black pieces played knight to e5, white played bishop to e2. Caruana's move is even stronger, rook to e8, bringing the rook to the semi-open file. Queen to d2, perhaps intending bishop to h6 and trading dark squared bishops. Knight to d7, it is not immediately clear what is the purpose of this move, perhaps knight to c5 was expected. Rook from a to d1, black to move. And this must have been a surprise to audience, commentators, and even Wojtacek. The move is bishop takes knight on c3. Usually, king Indian players don't trade the dark squared bishop lightly. It is a great defender of the black king. But Caruana understands the position very well. Queen takes on c3. Queen to f6, offering to trade queens. Queen to c1, avoiding the trade. Let's take it back. If queen takes queen, knight takes queen. This would be an interesting endgame. White has a bishop pair, but there are too many pawns on the board, and this position favors black, believe it or not. Back to our game. Queen to c1. Knight to c5, more pressure on the pawn on e4. Queen to b1, defending the pawn on e4. Queen to e6, rook from f to e1, queen takes on c4. Black is a pawn up, and white has no compensation for it. Caruana's opening was brilliant. b3, queen to c3, bishop to d2, queen to f6, Bishop to c1, intending bishop to b2. h5, bishop to b2, knight to e5, bishop to e2, black to move. Perhaps queen to f4 was expected. h4 was played, hurry in action. Queen to c1, black to move. Caruana played g5. Let's make a random move to see what would happen if g5 was not played. If something like a6, then f4 is extremely unpleasant. White wins a piece. Back to our game. g5. Bishop to b5. Black to move. c6 is playable. Caruana played rook to e7. Rook to e3. Queen to g6. Bishop to e2. Rook from a to e8. Queen to c2. If bishop to b5, then c6. And after bishop to e2, knight takes on e4. Back to our game. 
queen c2, knight to e6, f3, knight to f4, and the black knight is extremely well placed on f4. Bishop to f1, this is a very interesting game. The knight pair is much better than the bishop pair, isn't it? The game continued. c6, queen to f2, rook to e6, rook to c3, and now d5. g3 attacking the knight. Let's take it back. If e takes on d5, then knight takes on d5. Black stands better. That is why Wojtacek played g3. He wants to kick the knight back and then take on d5. So we have h takes on g3, h takes on g3. And when the knight goes to h5, then e takes on d5, c takes on d5, bishop to b5. White is fighting back. But in this position, instead of moving the knight, Caruana played an amazing move. d takes on e4, sacrificing the knight. What a move! g takes on f4. g takes on f4, discovered check. Queen to g2. Pawn takes pawn, attacking the queen. Queen takes on g6. Rook takes on g6, check. King to h1. And now f2, threatening check on g1. Bishop to h3. Black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Caruana played knight to c4, sacrificing the knight to clear the path for the rook. Rook takes on c4. Let's take it back. If rook to f1, then knight takes on b2. Back to our game. Rook takes on c4. Black played the move and white resigned and the move is rook to e1. White the check resigned in view of discontinuation. Rook takes rook. Pawn takes rook. Queen check. That was an amazing performance by Fabiano Caruana. Did you know that in the past players learned from the book and of course from a chess coach? Nowadays you can improve your chess using an online learning platform like AB Chess. Please click on the link below the video and access it. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.